Hello and welcome to episode 12 of my Setting Up To Do Is series. In this episode, I'm going to take you through the process of setting up what I call a creative project. Now, I know you are thinking, what's a creative project? So this is, so this is what I call a creative project. A creative project is any project that does not have a series of natural steps. For example, writing a report for your boss. This is definitely a project, but the process of writing the report is very much a creative process. In comparison, a project like Redecorate the Bedroom would have a series of naturally occurring concrete steps. For example, decide whether to use wallpaper or paint would be a task. Decide what colour of wallpaper or paint, buy wallpaper or paint, prepare the room, paint the walls. That's what I would call a concrete project. Now, creative projects are very common, and in my experience, many people get stuck when setting up these projects. However, they can be very simple to set up, and once set up, can really help you to complete the project on time. And I find it really helps me to get straight into the task as soon as I look at the project. So, I think it would be easier just to show you what a creative project looks like. So, here's how I set up a creative project. First, let's go ahead and create the project. So, let's create a project called Marketing Plan Presentation. So, we're going to add project and we'll call that Marketing Plan Presentation. So, this is going to be a presentation and... <coughs> Now, to create such a presentation, you're going to need to collect the necessary data. So that could be the first task. So let's say um, collect data for, for presentation. And that would be, I suppose that's going to be, well, I'm going to say thinking. And add the task. Um, then you're probably going to need to plan out the presentation. So plan out presentation. And again, that would be thinking. And let's say now, <clears throat> um, once you've done your planning, uh, this might be something now. Plan out presentation. Let's, let's just go into this. This could be something that isn't necessarily likely to take uh, a one-step session. So what I would do here is I would schedule that for every every day. Um, oops. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to schedule that for every day. And so this is going to be a recurring task. Now, what I always add at the end of this, because it's a recurring task, but it will finish at some point... I've always put the, the letters DWD at the end of the present of the task. Now what DWD means is delete when done. Once I've finished the planning, I would then delete the task and move on to the next task of creating the presentation file. Again, I would the letters I would add the letters DWD and set it to repeat every day. So let's do that um, prepare presentation. Uh, presentation file and again I'm going to put DWD and this would be an everyday task but I'm going to plan out the presentation first so I'm going to say every day from and let's say 16 Feb so that's going to start on the 16th of February and let's have a look that gives me basically one week so it's going to start next week, and it'll be a nice reminder that my deadline, if you like, for finishing the planning out the presentation is done. Now, prepare presentation file is going to be something that will continue for quite some time, maybe. It could take a week, it could take two weeks. But again, once I've finished that, what I would do is I would delete the task. Now, something else that I would do, and this is one of the one of the, oh, I don't know how to explain this really, but it has been one of my lifesavers for being focused on a project. Um, so I would add these two nested projects in this main project. And this to me is the secret source and one where Todoist can really excel. The first of these is to create a nested project entitled Things to Add. So we go Things to Add. 
and I'm going to nest, add that project, but we're going to nest it um, into marketing presentation. And <clears throat> now, whenever or where, now whenever or wherever I am, I can add any ideas I get straight into my Todoist inbox. And when I do my processing at the end of the day, I can just simply drag these items to my uh, Todoist to my project list. So whenever I sit down to develop my presentation now, I have a list of items I can get straight on with uh, without first spending 10 or 20 minutes thinking about the file. So the next sub-project um, would be things to discuss in the next meeting. Now normally when uh, if I am creating a project for my boss, like a presentation file, I am probably going to need to discuss this at the next meeting. So things to discuss. You can add things to discuss at the next meeting if you want, but add that project and again we're going to nest it so it's nested. So now when we look at the main project um, you will see that I've got things to, dis things to add and things to discuss. So if I had, say I don't actually have um, any thing in there, but if let's say at the end of the day I had this great idea that I could just add in a task, uh, something that I want to add into the presentation. For example, maybe I want to add in a slide on uh, something that's happening in the project right now. Then I can just add that things to add. So when I come to start working on this presentation file, all I need to do is actually open the master project, marketing plan presentation, and I've got my things to add and things to discuss at the next meeting absolutely brilliant way of doing what I call a creative project. So, uh, it's a simple but incredibly effective way of setting up a creative project in Todoist. And using this method, I've written books, I've created workshops and lectures, and I find it so helpful and does a lot to prevent me from pro uh, procrastinating when I'm thinking of things I want to add. I do hope this has been useful for you. Let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas for Todoist tutorials and I will be happy to do them for you. And please don't forget to subscribe if you want to receive the latest ed episodes once they are up. So, until next time, see you in episode 14.